Hello, my name is Rampin Mystic, and welcome back to a new milestone. Has been reached tier 4 in the community event, but you know, this is No Man's Sky, and we are not doing the community event because we can't, because we're playing modded. And first order of business today is actually going to be to go to the frigate. Uh, freighter, not frigate. We're not actually going to be going to crash to freighters yet. I'm, I'm saying yet because. It is a uh, possibility in our future at the moment. We still need only a couple of more uh, frigate modules to be done with uh, the upgrades, but we need to actually pick up our frigates because they should have actually come back home by now because it's been like two days since we sent them out. So yeah, that there's that. I still haven't used these. I, I should have, I haven't, but, but I should have, but I haven't. And we will. Not this episode. Uh, in between episodes, one of these days when I actually do remember to use them. Yeah. Oh, the slow jetpack. I forgot about that. Come on, come, climb over there. Climb over there. So yeah, uh, I did say I was working on uh, another project. In fact, I've actually currently scrapped it. I have another idea. Uh, but before that comes to fruition, I've actually started something new. Something not related to No Man's Sky, which is actually kind of interesting for me. Uh, because... I was initially gonna do something similar to No Man's Sky. You'll see probably at the end of the week because I've already started editing it. I've pulled, I've put in like uh, two-ish hours of editing, and I'm pretty sure I need like two-ish more hours of editing to actually uh, finish the project. Two to three more hours of editing. It depends on when I'm actually happy with the whole project. Uh, it's not something extremely complicated. We didn't get one, did we? Uh, we have ten. No, we didn't. I'm pretty sure we need to have way more. Neuro ducks are just going to be sold. Most of the stuff is just going to be sold. Uh, but yeah, so the No Man's Sky project is probably going to be delayed just because I I had different ideas for it. I So I started, I recorded some footage. I wasn't happy with the idea I had. Wow, that was nine cryo pumps? What the? F okay. I've never gotten nine cryo pumps before and we got a frigate module there from something. Nine cryo pumps. Nine. That's never happened before. I we're actually only one module away from. Uh, oh, I was supposed to gather uh, the materials for building the drive this episode before I start. I totally forgot. I actually haven't played No Man's Sky in two days, and I'm like, oh, when am I gonna play it? I'm so excited. I want to play. I want to play. I want to play. And I've actually been holding off on that. Okay, industrial for 28 hours. That's definitely one that's gonna be sent out. One of the ones that's going to be sent out. Uh, okay, let's see which industrial ones we have. One, two, three. Definitely a support one. You know, this one's fine. And one actually really good industrial one because I wanted to go to four stars or more. Pretty sure we don't have, yeah, we don't have anything. Mm -hmm. It's the mineral compressor, I believe, for industrial missions. And you know, this one's fine. At most, we might have a damage or two. Was one of them damaged? Did I just send a ship damaged? Oh well, it's fine. This is a balance mission, so uh, combat, support, trade. There's an extra industrial one. Oh well. Industrial, I guess I'm gonna keep it, keeping it for here. And what are we missing? Trade? No, exploration is what we're missing and we don't have another one, so S-class it is. Uh, okay, I don't have the fuel. I should have probably built some fuel. Oh, we have no fuel whatsoever. Wow. That's new. Where is my fuel? Where is... Huh? Oh, there it is. No, that's 50 tons. That's 100. I need 200. Where's the 200? Am I missing it somewhere? I must be missing it somewhere. Did they remove the 200? No, they couldn't have. I'm, miss I'm missing it. I I'm missing it. That's still 100. What? No. It's here, right? Okay, so we have 50, we have 100. Huh. Oh, there it is. Okay, good. I'm gonna build 10. Okay, that's fine. That's a lot better now. And let us send out the missions. The mission just as I was planning it last time. Uh, okay, so this, 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 and this, and we're sending in a exploration vessel, and it is five stars. That is great. 
So, uh, yeah, I know I'm going to repeat myself again, but I initially had a plan to do a, a No Man's Sky episode, a different No Man's Sky episode, just for, you know, purposes of, you know, that there being something different once in a while. Uh, even though I can't, like, do it on a regular basis, I will do it whenever I can. So I had this really good idea, uh, but when I started recording, I had a better idea. Uh, so I scrapped that, uh, but I didn't really have too much time to, you know, do more stuff. So what happened was I started, because I had some footage laying around from a different game that I was supposed to get around to editing one of these days, uh, and I decided to, you know, edit that. Uh, yeah, I know. I, I know, disappointing, but uh, I started editing that because, you know, it was just laying around. I have like 10 to 15 hours of footage and uh, I'm just going to be doing something different this time. Okay, we don't want economy. I guess we want, uh, we want no filter, actually. And we're still going to be looking for a crash filter, but we're actually going to be looking for it in a red planet. If I can find a red planet, that is. With, oh, there, there's one with planets? Sure, with life forms as well, wow. Uh, because we need cadmium, and we'll get a little bit along the way here for uh, the hyperdrives. I was supposed to sell the stuff on the freighter. Oh, I'll do it next time. I totally forgot. But yeah, I'm, 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 I'm hopeful soon that something will be out. By the end of the week, I'm pretty sure the... Uh, the thing, the the other game that I'm editing is gonna be out. Like I can almost guarantee that because I already started it. And once I do start something, I tend, I do tend to finish it. The problem with me is that I need to actually get around to starting to do it, just because I have so many things to do on a daily basis that it's kind of hard to get to one of the projects. And they get backlogged and backlogged, and they get thrown further down the line. I'm like, today I don't want to do it because I'm sick or. You know, whatever, or I want to, or I want to just spend some time with uh, my family, or and you know, you just go for like an hour, and, and you totally forget about the project. Well, you don't forget about it. You know, like you start to get lazy, and uh, yeah, I, I just leave it for the next day, and that's a really bad habit that I'm trying to shake slowly, but surely. <laughs> uh, I'm hoping to shake it one of these days, but I, I don't know when that's gonna happen. So if you don't know, we are looking for Positron, right? Yeah, we're looking for Positron Modules Class S, Hyperdrive Modules Class S. Actually, no, we don't want uh, Hyperdrive Modules. We just need uh, Pulse Engine Modules Class S and Positron Modules Class S. Oh, shielding as well uh, for the Viper because we're going to be outfitting it as solely a combat vessel and nothing else. Uh, it's not really going to travel anywhere. Uh, it's just, it's just going to be there for combat again. Just so we can test out the Positron Ejector and have a ship with a different weapon. You never know when you might need it. Normally, I, I wouldn't need even the shields on it, but this is permadeath. And even if I am confident in my skills, I would still rather have it outfitted. You never know when it could be useful. Probably never, knowing this game, but j j just in case. You never know. They might add something new to the game one of these days. And I believe that's all I had to sell. How much? I have 180 metal plating. What am I doing with it? Absolutely nothing, which is an issue. You know what I should have done? I actually shouldn't have gone here. I actually should have gone to a Emerald or Indium World because those can actually sell you cadmium. Just like, for example, this planet, this solar system, the system, okay, can... Um, I'm going to just send this to the freighter. Uh, just like the system can uh, sell you uh, copper, for example, because it is a red star. All right, let's scan. Let's hopefully find a uh, crash freighter. Because I believe we need just one more module. No, 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 no. You're going to find something. You see, it, twice it finds nothing and then it finds something. Which is really weird. It's like leading you to believe that there's nothing else for the, for the navigation things to discover. And yet all of a sudden they find something different. Distress signal. We are going to go there just for the fun. Because I do like going to distress signals. Especially nowadays, they are actually even more fun. Nothing found. I, I, I honestly thought that 10 would be enough. <laughs> For a second there, I was worried they might not be. But it turns out they were. Alright, so Crash Trader is actually over here. That's our first stop. And I know we're doing basically the same thing for the past three episodes, but honestly, I just want to get this done. 
If I put it on the back burner again, it's uh, it's gonna take a while. A long, long while. You remember that base I was supposed to build? Yeah. That's how long it's gonna take. It's just because I don't want to do it at the moment. It just doesn't feel fun at this very moment. It just doesn't feel fun. And plus, I have no ideas for like a cool base. And currently, with Beyond, with the update to Beyond, uh, that base is totally worthless because there's no way to power it. I mean, I can run wires through it, but th those would th you would be able to see them at certain locations, and I'm not fun fine with that. So, uh, no. Life goes on, day after day, delivering after, uh, delivering after delivering. I hope to go home soon. The life of a traveler is not for one for one like me. Multiple sentinel energy signatures detected, requiring immediate attention. Dropping out of warp. There, there's the sentinel fleet. What are they doing? Fighting each other. Oh, we've we've, we've actually read this like a thousand a thousand times. Fighting each other. The sentinel ships are engaging each other, gzz, ignoring us for now. The Sentinels appear to have departed. They are deprecated. The I don't know. The stress signal nearby. Broadcasting 16 on repeat. I'm going to have a look. Well, safe to say that you never came back from that. Okay, we're looking for jettison pods. That is the most important thing here. Oh, let me just quickly recharge that. I'm just going to use magnetized for it. I'm solving. I'm saving the silicone... Um, I believe it was silicone. For if I need to make glass, because I currently have no frost work for them. That's just cobalt. It's actually the harder harder a harder material to get for me. What? It's not hard to get, it's just annoying because I have to farm it. Unlike a nice cobalt, which I can just it'll straight up either buy or uh, get like those uh, vortex cubes which give you 150 ionized cobalt each. Oh, there it is, the last one we need. Last one we need for now. I'm gonna want to like fully uh, uh, upgrade the hyperdrive on the uh, on the starship just in case they decide to change it again in the future. And, and ugh. I'm gonna need to make a bigger hole because if they decide to change it again in the future, I would rather have the hyperdrive than have to like farm something else to get it. So yeah. Okay. Okay, let's, let's look. Let's look what's behind this door. Silicate powder. Sorry, it's not silicone. It's silicate powder. Shouldn't there be one more? There it is. I get. Yeah, I, I actually didn't exit from that. Okay, I'm not gonna get the reward, am I? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. Whatever. Oh, I did. It's a warp cell. I had no warp cells, and I have, I believe, three, four now. Three. Yeah. I had none, by the way. I destroyed the last ones, but we did get a single friggin' module, which is exactly the amount we need. For now. I'm gonna want more though, so, I mean, we're already here, so might as well, you know, just check out the rest of the jettison pods. If I can find the door, please, let me guess it's on this side. It is on this side, okay. Oh, yeah. Destroy them on Earth. Okay, we are actually done here, I believe. I am not disappointed in the single module, I would just like to point out. That is the amount we needed, that is the amount we got. Yes, I would have preferred to get more, but there is no way I can be disappointed when it's actually a lot easier to get modules now. Oh, there's... Oh, that's just, that's just a cargo pod. I can go check it out, I suppose. Mm, do I want to? Don't I want to? Yeah, sure, I'll go. Oh, of course, there's a big metal thing in the way. And... I really don't... I probably shouldn't have come here. For this cargo pod. Unstable jump. Like, yeah, they don't really yield anything interesting. Like, most of these stuff I just throw away. They're worthless for money for me because... Uh, I have 700 million and I can actually get like 100 plus million more. Did I send the thing there? Yeah, I did. And I can get a lot more just by just by going to the farm, in all honesty. I haven't done that in two days, so it's definitely full. 
100% guaranteed that it's full. Okay, let's send this to the frigate. Freighter. Mm. Okay, let's go to the... I believe there was a distress signal which we were going to check out, so... Let's go. Okay, I gotta go into space first. I guess I could summon the freighter in a little bit. By the way, there is a way to summon the freighter very close to the planet. If anybody's wondering, even though it doesn't allow you to, there is a way. Uh, it's uh, it's probably not a bug, but when you're on foot, you can actually summon it very, very close to the planet. It's like right outside in the atmosphere, which is great. I can actually demonstrate in a second, as soon as we land. So notice how I'm very cl close to the ground, but it, it is not allowing me to work the freighter. Regardless of if I'm pointing to the sky or not, it, it won't allow me. Even if I was going up, it still wouldn't allow me. Unless something has changed in the past, like, 48 hours. But if you do this... Where is it? Summon freighter. You can actually summon the freighter very close to the atmosphere. Like, that's how close you summon it. There's nothing here. Why'd they land? Oh, all right to show the freighter thing. Is that oxygen? You know what? I'll take it. I want you to make a new to this because the last time we actually farmed oxygen, we actually specifically went for oxygen. I like I decided to go for oxygen, like I, I did now. It was probably over 50 episodes ago. I'm just saying. We haven't done that in a while. I had sort of forgotten that you know oh boy, what was that? Something made the earthquake. Oh, it's that thing. Oh, okay. Right next order of business. Uh, do I even need to install these? Okay, so this is cadmium, which I should actually get. 250, and an oxygen filter, which we can get, and a lot of antimatter housing, which we can get. So a lot of things we can actually get, surprisingly. Uh, most of them we can bowl. Let's see. Is this a cadmium planet? It is a cadmium planet. Good. I was just checking. Speaking of cadmium, there it is. I'm going to take the ship there. Uh, probably if I can find the exocraft station now. No, no, wrong. I swear I'm moving the mouse. What is going on? Tiniest exocraft station. Ever. Look at this. You can't even see it from the grass. Let's take it back. Right, let's go to the cabin and pause that. I mean, generally, I don't want to do this anymore on camera, like farming resources. Not because it's boring, because it's... For some reason, it just destroys the frames. I, I don't know. Like, after Beyond was released... Ugh. Things have not been working out well. That's a very interesting cadmium deposit. Like, I don't even want to demonstrate how... This looks like lava. I still... That is beautiful though. Now just watch as I go back to the ship and attempt to buy the new upgrade. And it, it's actually 18 instead of the 12 I thought it was. And I will be... Extremely disappointed that I actually have to go specifically for more crash freighters. I mean, it's fun uh, a couple of times, like the first three, four times, sure. Afterwards, I want to have a break, you know, from the crash freighters. Uh, I hate farming on camera at the moment. Look at this, look at this, it's just crashing the freighter. What is going on? Oh my, I want to cry. I want to cry. And I, I actually haven't uh, searched recently, but nobody used to have a solution for this. It just happens. I mean, generally it's fine, it's playable. Uh, does it have to be playable on this machine? It, it should be more than playable on, this, on my machine. Oh well. Oh well. Whatever, where's my uh, exocraft? I'm not gonna farm anymore because it's annoying me. I'm actually almost done. Oh, great. Uh, I just need a little bit more. Just a little bit. A couple more. Okay, I think we're done. 250, yeah, we're done. Can I actually install it from, the here, from here? Yeah, I can. No, I can't. Nope, no, I can't. Still, though, we don't really need them to be actually built in order for the hyperdrive to work by the looks of things because I can jump 8,000 now. Wait a minute, then why am I farming? I guess just so I can have them built. Yeah, that is a bug uh, I've known about. Part of the bug, I suppose you can say. Because I've known if you install the hyperdrives, like uh, the red, green, blue one, 
if you install all of them, even if you don't build them, you can still go to the worlds uh, where they allow you to go to. I've never really paid attention if they increase your hyperdrive length, but I know that you can go to them afterwards. Which is kind of nice. Okay, so we did Summoner Freighter, which is actually going to be right up here in the... Is it low atmosphere or is it high atmosphere? I don't know. What is that? That's a low atmosphere, isn't it? Could be. I'm not really that good with these uh, exact measurements, so to speak. But I do know that low atmosphere is low. And high atmosphere is higher than the low atmosphere. That... Makes me a genius. Yep, indeed. Okay. And if with my genius brain, uh, let us actually build a hyperdrive. Oh boy. Where is it? Where is that? Where is it? Oh, no, no, don't fall down. No, no. Planetary chart. No, nobody cares. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna... You know, these hints are getting on my nerves. Okay, let's see. Uh, hmm. Oh, it's actually not... A, does it have to be specifically on the freighter? Maybe I need all of them. Okay, so one oxygen filter and four antimatter housing. Okay, I'm pretty sure we can... No, not here, though. Well, there's the oxygen filter. That is a lot of oxygen. And four... And, wow, that is even more oxygen. Two, three, four. Okay, let's see now. Well, it says left click to install technology, but it's not really working. Well, what I, what I can do is I can actually destroy it and rebuild it. And yeah, now it's actually gonna... What the? Do they need to be on me? Okay, um, let's try this again. Okay, now it's working. They have to be on me. I just want to have it built, yeah. It doesn't really matter, uh, it still works even if it's not built. And I can still use it. Oh, it's 8, it's not 12, what? Oh, this one's 12, oh, okay. Oh, alright, so this one's Emerald, and, oh, we actually need only, uh, 8 more. To finish this up, well, that's actually a, possibly a good idea. Possibly. I mean, just just look at the hyperdrive range. Let me install this. Hyperdrive range just went up. Five more antimatter housing, emerald, and sodium diode. Actually, don't I have indium here? Uh, yeah, I do. I'm just gonna keep this. Just I don't sell it. I need to remember. You know what? I'm gonna sell things now. Oh, I need emerald. <gasps> and the messages. These automatic messages are really, really, really getting to annoy me. Nobody, I'm, first of all, I'm playing solo most of the time. Alright, so I'm going to sell things from the freighter right now, just so I rem don't forget to not sell this. Okay, you cannot get anything from, oh, actually a good price for the cryo pumps. And dirty bronze, uh, I believe, actually, isn't dirty bronze? Don't you make dirty bronze of the pure ferrite, or was that uh, limium? Or was limium into gold? I don't remember. Let's see. Because if that's pure ferrite, I can actually keep it. No, that's silver. That is a lot of silver. Wait a minute. I have to. What the? Why do we have so many? I cannot access. Hey, this is as well an annoying thing. If you have a refiner built on board the freighter, you cannot actually access the freighter's inventory. You have to specifically send it to, you know, your inventory. Well, technically, I have uh, no silver on me. I could just keep some on me, but... I, mean, I, have a, I have a silver farm. I don't really need these. You know, just saying. Anyway, uh, let's continue on. What am I supposed to do now? We're actually done with whatever I wanted to do this episode. Huh. Well, would you look at that? Well, I guess I'm gonna... No, I'm not. I'm not. I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm kidding. There is actually... Oh, wait, right. I remember what I wanted to do. <laughs> I remember now. No, we're not farming game. We'll go away. But I do remember what I wanted to do. Alright, so an interesting thing that I wanted to do. Um, where is the warp map? There it is. 
I want it to work for this thing. Uh, so I, first of all, I should have checked our effective range, which is you know, just saying I should have checked the effective range. Uh, that is a lot. That is 20,000. Wow. Okay. Effective range is uh, more or less 20. Oh, wrong, wrong panel. More or less 20,000. So let's jump 20,000 light years uh, towards the galactic core. And you know what? I'm actually going to jump on a neighbor planet. Alright, so I'm just going to go straight towards the core. And we are going 20,000 units. This is only 3,000. We need to go a little bit further away. I'm actually looking at the distance to the galactic core. And I can more or less tell how long we've traveled for. Is the warp drive powered? Out of jump range. What? What do you mean out of jump range? No. It says 20,000 light years. But, but it says 20,000... What? No. It says 20,000 light years. What is going on? No, no, no. Okay, come on, leave. 20,000 light years. Oh, uh, it's entirely... Oh, because I haven't built it, I can't jump that far away. Okay. Uh, I, I, okay. Okay, so I guess it's just a visual thing. I know you can jump to the planets, though. To the green planet. So let's actually uh, prove that because I have done that with the uh, uh, with the ship, with the normal starship. So let's actually find a green planet up to what is it, seven thousand, eight thousand light years away. So you know what? Let's go a little bit further away. Oh no, wait. The first drive gives us what five thousand? Oh, whatever. Doesn't really matter so long as it's a green planet and I'm in range. Four thousand. You know what? I think that's far enough. Let's just find a green planet. There it is. Single. No, not with a single world. Again, with a single world. I, okay, so there's one Corvax mercantile with tier three. Second Corvax with a single planet. And they're all green. Okay, there's a Viking green one, but I don't want to go. Actually, don't I? Yeah, I do. Let's go over there. Has several planets. And we're jumping the freighter. And the game crashed. Oh, no, it didn't. Okay, good. It would have been kind of funny if the game crashed. And my last save was close, so it's fine. But Too bad you don't see the freighter actually traveling through the... Wormhole. Okay, uh, we have jumped kind of far. This thing uses, I believe, a ton of fuel. Uh, I... No, actually it doesn't. Okay, that's, that's fine, I guess. I just have to, like, buy ten, a ton of cadmium one of these days. I just, I really do. Just so we can have some laying around because apparently I'm going to need more of it. I thought I would never need it again, but I do. Let's see, maybe you're selling some cadmium. I'm just going to buy all of it if you are. You no, know, it's a tier one world. Of course, you're not going to be selling anything. Oh, boy. Did I actually get the silver? I did. I, I forget sometimes, okay? okay? Let's go to the station. There, should, there was a station, right? Yeah, there was. I'm pretty sure I picked a uninhabited world. Oh, what, why is our ship there? It, it was over here. It's always over here. Oh, that's weird. Okay. Where is the space station? Oh, there it is, right in front of us. Okay, yeah, sure. Don't... Don't destroy our freighter, please. I need that thing. It jumps kind of far. Oh yeah, you see, I don't have the Emerald Drive yet, but we still jump to a green world. Wait a minute. No, that's not... No, that's not how it works. I'm an idiot. This is the one that I can go to... Oh. oh, wait a minute. These are not like the Starship ones. Wait a minute. This is, no, these are not the same as the Starship ones. The Starship ones are different drives so that I can jump to different solar bodies. Oh, so that makes sense why I could why I could jump from Yeah, okay, that makes a lot of sense. Why I could jump here. But it does work on the ship, by the way. It does. It really does. I believe it does. I remember it does. I just redacted the whole thing in a single sentence. <laughs> it 
might work or it, it might not work. I don't properly remember, it, but I do remember remembering that I remember. That is confusing. No, I do actually have uh, Before Beyond. I do remember that it used to work. It probably still does. I need to. Ch I actually should check it out to see if it actually works. I don't like that weapon. Why am I checking it out? Ah. He is ugly and beautiful at the same time. Positron. Well, aren't we lucky? And now we don't need phase beam. Don't need infra knife. Need shields and engines. But second Positron one. That's nice. Just gonna send it to the freighter. Yeah, they're gonna be kept here. It's fine. So we need one more Positron one and three shields, three engines. Alrighty, well, I'm gonna be ending things off here. We did have a little bit of fun and we actually managed to build some of the hyperdrives, which I should have... I, I honestly thought it was 12. It's 8, but I thought it was 12 for the uh, second drive upgrade. If I, if I had known, I would have done that a lot sooner. Anyway, my name is Trump Mystic. I do hope you enjoyed this episode of No Man's Sky, and I do hope to see you all in the next one.